Imagine being able to travel from France to Algeria or from Spain to Moscow within minutes without the hassle to fly or ride a ferry. Sounds too good to be true. Well, it is not, because there isn't a single bridge connecting Europe and Africa. The Strait of Gibraltar is quite a complicated location in the world which joins two continents, two oceans and two cultures. And here's where it gets interesting. This location is the most difficult place to construct a bridge over due to its geology, depth, weather and politics. And yes, many engineers have already tried their luck building a bridge over the strait, but their attempts were unsuccessful. What's the conspiracy behind this challenging situation? Let's dive deep into those mind-altering facts displaying those barricades in the way of that bridge construction. Trust me, you can't afford to miss out on this one. Topographical Challenges If you ever get to stand on the southern coast of Spain and set your eyes across the Mediterranean, you'd find it. The persuading glance of another continent, Africa, which is just 13 kilometers away from the Strait of Gibraltar. It is a short distance that we can cover in minutes. However, it has been an obstruction in the way of building a bridge between Europe and Africa for centuries. The Strait of Gibraltar's downright width has become a profound challenge for many engineers. It expands to almost 13 kilometers or 8 miles at its widest point, making it a massive barrier between engineers and the construction of the bridge. For the outlook, consider the famous channel tunnel located between England and France, which stretches to 38 kilometers, a significant distance, but still way shorter than that of the Strait of Gibraltar. Thus, the construction of a bridge that's robust enough to stand between powerful currents, bear unforeseeable weather conditions, and put up with seismic activity in this location is way out of league. Let's talk about seismic activity. The area surrounding the Strait of Gibraltar is highly susceptible to seismic movements. It is the center point where the African tectonic plate hits the Eurasian plate, leading to frequent earthquakes and volcanic activities. Constructing a bridge over a location facing topographical challenges is not only difficult, but also poses certain safety concerns. The Strait of Gibraltar is an important pathway for maritime traffic too, linking the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic Ocean. And thus, prior to any bridge construction, it will be necessary to figure out a plan that ensures the bridge safely fits in with the large vessels passing across the strategic waterway, adding to the complexity of design and engineering needs. If we keep aside these physical barricades, we still have erratic weather patterns like dense fog and winds that can't be ignored. Such situations can make navigation dangerous while adding to the challenges in the building and operation of the bridge. The history of unsuccessful attempts. The idea of building a bridge to connect Europe and Africa isn't up to the minute. It has been there in the minds of engineers, visionaries and explorers for ages. Throughout history, a great deal of attempts have been made to stand this bridge, each adding to the rich tapestry of this notion. One of the earliest attempts took place in the Roman Empire era. The Roman engineers were known for their advanced construction methods back then and considered setting a bridge through the Strait of Gibraltar in the 1st century AD. And guess what? This venture remained unfulfilled considering the immense challenges that come with it. During the time of colonial expansion in the 19th century, the idea of putting up a bridge came up yet again. A famous French engineer, Ferdinand de Lesseps, renowned for building the Suez Canal, presented the master plan of the bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar in the 1800s. However, this master plan faced severe backlash from many sectors, and this plan couldn't advance to the building stage. Another attempt was made by a Spanish engineer, José Eugenio Ribera, in the 20th century. He thought about a bridge-tunnel combo and an artificial island in the center of the strait to provide a tunnel for both rail and road traffic. However, Ribera's thoughts stay limited to the imagination given the financial and technical restrictions. Throughout the 20th and 21st centuries, many projects made rounds from undersea tunnels to floating bridges, with every plan being one of a kind. 
However, when it came to the cost, security and experiment of these projects, everything seemed to be an impossible catch. The history of these bridge attempts works as evidence of human superpowers and creativity. Economic and Political Aspects The concept of building a bridge is more than just linking two continents. It's about reformulating economies and political structures and influencing millions of lives. In this section, we will dive deeper into the intricate network of economic and political factors that support the absence of a physical bridge. Economic Boundaries One of the main economic factors that scared off the proposal of building a bridge between Europe and Africa was the colossal cost. Assembling a bridge through the turbulent water of the Strait of Gibraltar would need a huge investment both in materials and manpower apart from technology. Adding to the intrigue, security measures and maintenance would also be available at a considerable price. Nevertheless, supporters insist that the current investment will be a surety for long-term economic benefits. Furthermore, a bridge would support the enhanced and cost-effective trade between Europe and Africa while improving commerce and economic advancement throughout the nearby regions. Lastly, it would energize tourism too, making it easy for tourists to travel without booking flights or riding a ferry. Political Influence the geopolitical involvement in the building of a bridge cannot be undervalued. This linkage between Europe and Africa would need to deeply consider the complex interconnection of relations, disputes and agreements. The jurisdiction of the nations around the Strait, like Morocco, Spain and Gibraltar, would be a significant issue, especially in negotiations. All three of these nations would be required to acknowledge the bridge's construction, jurisdiction and management. Additionally, we cannot pass over the security risks. The construction and composition of the bridge would need to be carefully sorted to guarantee safety and control of traffic while closing down the risks of illegal immigration, smuggling and other security concerns. Here comes the biggest disclosure. The bridge plan would potentially challenge the existing maritime trade routes and derange settled economic interests. Thus, there's more chance of opposition from influential personalities running shipping and transportation industries. What are future possibilities? The dream of assembling a bridge is alive even when there are substantial challenges and historical attempts considering technological advancement and enhanced global dynamics. Let's what factors can influence the possibility of erecting a bridge between Europe and Africa. Innovative technology Improved construction and engineering technology has changed the game of the construction industry. Advanced materials, contemporary construction techniques and graphically designed plans have surpassed the failure of those past attempts. Engineers are now focusing on new concepts like floating bridges and ingenious structures that could turn this bridge-building hurdle into an easy task. Minimization of economic boundaries since globalization is actively rooting for the world's economic revolution, the idea of linking Europe and Africa has become more captivating. The possibility of rationalized trade, lesser transportation charges and elevated tourism might potentially exceed the initial investment. Both foreign organizations and investors are carefully looking at these opportunities, realizing the benefits they could yield in the long run. The ambition to put up a bridge to link Europe and Africa might already have encountered big challenges in the past, but the future might be different. The obvious advancement of technology, altering economic dynamics, changing political frameworks and environmental factors support the progressive discussions about this ambitious dream. Moving forward, we hope to see the day when this imagination becomes a reality. That's all for today, fam. If you like discovering the actual reasons why there is no bridge between Europe and Africa, give this video a thumbs up and show your appreciation in the comments.